Your Excellency, Mr. Matamela Sio Ramaphosa, President of the Republic of South Africa and Chair of the BRICS. Your Excellency's Heads of State and Government, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen, this BRICS dialogue comes at a critical time for us as nations in the global south, a time in which three consecutive global crises, namely the COVID-19 pandemic, climate change impacts, and the war in Eastern Europe have exposed two harsh realities we can no longer deny nor find acceptable. First, they have exposed the extreme vulnerability of our countries to external shocks owing to weak infrastructural, food, health, environmental management, governance, educational, and social protection systems that we need to develop to make our economies more resilient. Secondly, they have exposed the global financial and institutional systems incapacity to respond to our needs speedily and fairly. So now that we know how vulnerable the, to shocks we are and how unresponsive to our needs the global financial system and multilateral institutions are, what remains is for us to do something about it. And we are more than capable of doing something about it. For not only is there a strength in our numbers, because the nations gathered here represent close to half of the human population, but there is also abundance in our resources. For the nations gathered here are the custodians of the bulk of the natural resources the world needs for the creation of the digital and green economies of tomorrow. The place to start it is for us to confront the barriers that have denied us a stake in global prosperity in the past. One such barrier is our own failure to build our own institutional and financial systems, systems that can better facilitate the implementation of instruments like the African Continental Free Trade Area, AFCTA, and the aspirations of platforms like the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation, FOCAC, the Russia-Africa Summit, and the India-Africa Forum Summit, IAFS. A second barrier we must confront is the monopoly that some countries enjoy of multilateral institutions like the UN Security Council, where we must insist that it is no longer acceptable for a handful of countries that claim to love democracy and equality to have the power to undemocratically make decisions about us without us. Five months ago, as outgoing chairperson of the least developed countries, LDCs, I presided over the launch of the Doha Program of Action for LDCs for 2022 to 2031 in Doha, Qatar, under the auspices of the United Nations. And yet none of the 46 nations that are part of this program have a permanent representation on the UN Security Council, where decisions are made affecting its progress. This is unacceptable. Five months ago, I led my nation in mourning the loss of over 1,000 Malawians, the displacement of over half a million, and the destruction of crops and infrastructure that over two million depend on, following the devastation caused by Cyclone Freddy. And yet Malawi has no nation to per permanently represent its interest on the UN Security Council where the nations that are the greatest cause of climate change remain unaccountable for meeting their obligations for climate change mitigation, adaptation, 
and loss and damage. That is unacceptable. In the face of these global challenges, Malawi is determined to work with BRICS nations to promote multilateralism and uphold international law in a new and better framework because Malawi is not satisfied with a post-colonial geopolitical framework that has failed to deliver equitable prosperity for our people. We must reboot the system. We must reboot it now. And we are here to help BRICS nations design the software. I thank you for your attention.